Last night's view. Corner shop cook-off. BBC Scotland. We've all been there, that last-minute meal from the shelves of the corner shop, declared the woman tripping down the road toting a little Red Riding Hood-style shopping basket. She looked like that Claire Grogan, but it couldn't be. That Claire Grogan was the singer with altered images. That Claire Grogan graced a million teenagers' walls. That Claire Grogan's rosebud lips sang happy birthday on top of the bops. And that Claire Grogan stole Gregory's heart. But it was that Claire Grogan. Presenting a new cookery show on BBC Scotland is just another item on life's shopping list when you are a moderately successful former pop star with a comeback tour starting soon. In Corner Shop Cook-Off, Claire moderates while Gary McLean, winner of Master Chef, challenges a fellow professional to make a three-course meal for £15 using items from a local shop. First stop was Bannockburn, where Shakira and Ruby run the Weaver O News Agents. It serves the community from dusk till dawn with everything from chocolate, crisps, lottery tickets and newspapers, to packets and tins for ravenous residents, said Claire, just in case viewers were unfamiliar with the concept of a corner shop. Hang on, there was more. It is not just a news agents. It is also a place you can pay your bills, top up your phone and pick up your online shopping. Anyone would think Claire was frantically engaged in the now-standard BBC Scotland wheeze of stretching a half-hour programme into an hour. Yup, she was. In her presenting style, Claire started at widely enthusiastic and built from there. I love a bottle of limeade, she fizzed, taking us on a tour of the shop. It is not a proper corner shop unless they've got the limeade happening. This corner shop also happened to have a takeaway attached. The chefs could take items from there, fresh fish and chicken herbs, etc., and from a larder that had eggs, oils, and other basics. So apart from the participation of top chefs, using ingredients you would not usually find in a corner shop, it was just like you or I trying to cobble up a meal from nothing. You've got to love reality TV's commitment to reality. Gary made samosas for a starter. What defines a samosa? asked Claire. I don't know, replied Gary. Thanks mate. His opponent, Mark Ayres, who trained under McLean and was now a private chef, went for baked eggs. Claire jollied them along with time checks, a la bake-off and every other cookery show, and had a go at that all-important catchphrase. She was torn between, do you want to grab your basket and go shopping? And 3-2-1 cook-off. It was a work in progress. She was certainly fond of the you say something and I'll repeat it with an exclamation mark attached, school of presenting. A tin of beans, said Shakir, handy for more on this story, visit the news article link.